Hello, hello everyone. It's Sherry with Blessed Bobbles, and I'm really glad that you clicked on my video and decided to come in. I'm very, very excited about that. Thank you so much. I am about to show some coordinated matching jewelry bags. Uh, those of you that are new to my channel, I take the Shop Goodwill unboxing jewelry and some jewelry that I've got from other places, and I put the pieces together in a matching set. And I think we're up to episode 30. So this has been quite a fun thing. They are a lot of work. I'll never say that they're not, but they are really a hit. So I thank you so much for all of that. So before I get started, let me tell you how to purchase. If you see something you like, I would need you to email me at capecodebaygirl at gmail.com. And just let me know the episode number a brief description of what's in the bag, the bag number, and the price given. Okay, thank you so much for that. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, I would like to invite you to. I'd love to know if you're a new subscriber or if you've been around a long time. And I do love the comment section. I answer every one that I can. The only ones I don't answer are probably held up for two weeks by YouTube sometimes. Or maybe they're on like an eight-month-old video and I just need to go back and find them. But I do enjoy your comments very much. And also click the bell so you'll be notified when I post my next video. Okay, so thank you for letting me tell you about that. And those of you that know about this series I've been doing called Rich Box Poor Box, the last episode I finished Poor Box, but I didn't have enough time to show Rich Box. So I have been working really hard on what's left in Rich Box because there's a lot of little things and everything needed to be cleaned. So tremendous amount of work, but I'm finishing that up and hopefully that'll be my next episode. And after that series, we're gonna open a new box of jewelry. I'm very excited about that. So that's what's coming up in the near future. I have been really busy. Today is Saturday, oh, around April, 19 or 20 just for those that are tuning in maybe at a later date and I've been very 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 busy not able to post a lot of videos so I'm very worried about that I hope that you all stick with me and you don't go anywhere and I hope YouTube doesn't punish me by not showing my videos as much because that would be very I'd be so upset about that so I'm not posting as much but I really want to and hopefully this week I'll be able to post a bunch again. So thank you for your patience in not as many videos lately, but I've got lots of stuff to make videos on. And also for your patience in shipping. I think I was a bit late this week, so thank you so much. Okay, bag number one is called Don't Teal My Heart. And these are some sets that I put on a couple of weeks ago. So today I'm gonna show them with the discount. And that has gone really well. It's not usual that the bags don't sell, but when they don't, sometimes there's something happening in the world and everyone was busy that night, or or maybe the prices aren't just right, or maybe the person that one would have loved them didn't see them that day. But when I repost them and drop the prices, they just, they go really well. So I appreciate that very much. Okay, number one is called Don't Teal My Heart. And that is because it's a beautiful rhinestone teal colored necklace, obviously in the shape of a beautiful heart. It's on a gold tone metal and it's signed Pilgrim. So this is a piece of Pilgrim jewelry. The chain is very, very beautiful. It is 14 to 18 inches. So 14 and then the extender is another four inches. So it's a very pretty piece by Pilgrim. Yeah, everything's there. And I'll show you what I match it up with. You might have heard the doorbell, and that's because we have some visitors. So just want to say hi to them. Okay, back to bag number one. I have these two bracelets. One is a teal color stretch. They're both a stretch, actually. And the other is, I think last time I called this limerick or something uh, because that's one of the roads that we have around here but this is an aramish bracelet so gold tone and teal very good condition 
and the earrings are super cute. They're on these wires that clip back to themselves so you don't need any backs on them and they are beautiful crystal in the same color and I like how the middle stone is a little bit lighter. But those are just adorable and then I'm adding some gold tone heart stud earrings. So that's that set called number one, Don't Teal My Heart, and I had it at 32. And I'm gonna take the price down to 25, okay? So bag number one, Don't Teal My Heart, is for 25. We've got two pairs of earrings, they're both pierced this time. A couple of bracelets, and this beautiful teal color in the Pilgrim necklace. The chain on that feels very quality. It's a nice, nice necklace. So, 14 to 18 on the necklace, seven inches is where the bracelets sit, but they are a stretch. So that's bag number one. This time I'm gonna leave the bag numbers on them just like they were when I did the video a couple weeks ago. I think it'll be easier than trying to change the numbers. So bag number two is called Tigers and Pearls. And this is a gorgeous tiger's eye necklace, really beautiful glass pearls, and the tiger's eye stones in the middle. It's very lovely. I love the end caps that they're filigree and just real genuine stone and glass. And this necklace is on a very pretty gold tone lobster clasp, a nice good size. It's 18 inches. So I went ahead and added an extender. That's what this thing is. So you can extend the necklace that was 18 inches if you want to, and you can extend it all the way to 22 inches. So that's that beautiful piece. And then to go with it is the matching bracelet that actually comes with the set. It's also glass pearls. It's tiger's eye stone, lovely. I think the more vintage tiger's eye is always prettier. Great condition on the stretch. And then to go with that is a pair of earrings that also came with the set. Glass and tiger's eye again on some gold tone hooks. And I always put nice clean backs on them for you. So that is that set. And then I thought I would add this beautiful heart brooch, or I'm sorry, scarf clip. It's a double heart gold tone. There's the back of it. It's in wonderful condition. And you could clip it onto your necklace if you wanted to, to add a little more pizzazz. Or you could just wear it as a scarf clip. That's up to you. But I wanted to add something else to that and that seemed appropriate. So bag two, real tiger's eye and very quality glass pearls. I had it at 52. You know the measurement of the necklace bracelet sits at a six and a half but it's a stretch and I'm gonna take it from 52 down to 45 so bag two tiger's eye and pearls is 45 okay great bracelet it's nice and heavy nice heavy there as well and your scarf clip and necklace and an extender so there goes that one and that's bag two and again, there might be a number missing in between here and there, and that's because that bag must have sold. So, so far we're doing good. We're still in the same number sequence. And then I gotta tell you about this. I forgot last time. Okay, bag number three is called Silver and Stone. Yep, Silver and Stone. And this is a beautiful lapis and last time I couldn't remember lapis for the life of me. And now I can't remember this one. Oh my gosh. Lapis and sodalite. Lapis and sodalite. So I think this is the one that has both on it, does it? Um, it might be all sodalite, actually. Oh, that's right, the bracelet has a different stone on it. Okay, so you've got this very beautiful 
all sterling silver uh, findings on this as well. And all of those little beads in between are all sterling silver. So you have real stone and a lot of silver beads in between. And then it comes down to this pendant and sterling all the way to the end. So that's a lovely piece. It measures 16 inches and just looks great. And to go with that, I have this bracelet. And this one has some darker stones on it and the sodalite. So not sure if that's lapis. Could be, but you get the idea. It matches pretty well and it's got a nice little silver tone bead in the front. So there you go with the stretch. It is a little bit stiff. I don't think it's going anywhere, but it just, just so you know. And this sits at a seven with a little bit of give. And then to go with that, I have these silver tone and sodalite earrings. They've got a cute little chip on there and that nice sort of modernized silver tone piece at the bottom, nice danglies. So that is set number three called Silver and Stone. I had it at 49. Do remember that that's all sterling silver on the necklace and it's all genuine stone. So I will take this down a bit and I'll do this one at 45 also. So bag number three, silver and stone is $45. Okay. So in goes your pierced earrings. I usually add clip-ons, but in this set, there wasn't any clip-ons that would go. But it's a great piece. Whoever made this, they did a great job on it. So that's bag number three. Now we've got bag number four. Okay, now this necklace I got out, well, I don't know if this one I got out of Rich Box, Poor Box, but I got one out of Rich Box, Poor Box, and it was a little damaged, so I put it in the craft box, and I had about five people write me for that necklace. So then I decided, when I found another one, to make a jewelry bag out of it. So here is that very colorful, I believe this is silk thread that's wrapped around beads. It's in great condition and it's got gold tone beads in between. Just beautiful colors. And there's that piece. I, you might be able to double it. Not sure about that. There is no clasp on it, so it is an over the head piece. But to go with that, and that by the way is 28 inches on that necklace. And I'm sorry, it's bag number four called Colors Are Fun. 28 inches on the necklace. To go with that, I have this very colorful bracelet. It is really quality. Don't know what the material is. It's some kind of acrylic or something vintage, you know? And it's just got beautiful colors. I thought it went very nicely. Eight inches on the bracelet. And then these colorful earrings, so adorable. They are vintage as well, and they are white enamel with the green, red, blue, and yellow. And they're in terrific shape. They are pierced. Love those with it. And then to add a pair of clip-ons, I have these really cute circle enamel clip-ons. And they are just the right color to go in between all the different reds that are on the necklace because there's different reds on it. So I love these clip-ons with it. I hope you do too. And then I'm adding this flower brooch. There's the back of it. It's very lovely. The colors really go nicely. So I just thought that was very pretty to go with this set number four. And this is called Again, colors are fun. I had it at 38, and I will take it down to 32. Okay, so bag four is now $32, and it's called Colors Are Fun. You've got a bangle, a lovely brooch, a pair of clip-ons, some pierced, and this very pretty, silky, wonderful colors necklace. So bag four, okay, 
And now let's see, do we have bag five? We do. Okay. I hope you're all having a really great weekend. The weather is getting nicer. Isn't it fun when that happens? And it's staying lighter longer. So that's always great. Oh, I love this bag. I really love this. This is so cool. Bag number five is called Rice is Nice. And I'll show you why I called it that in just a minute. So I have these genuine rice pearl necklaces. There's a couple of them here. I think there's three or four of them. They just, they feel magnificent. That nice cold rice pearl. Actually, maybe there's more than that. Here, let me get them together off camera and then I'll show you. But these are great to have. I think you can do a lot with these. Just need a little bit of getting together because they're quite long. So here we go. All right, four of them. So two of them are like a creamy pearl color and two of them are almost a peacock pearl color. They've got purples and pinks and all kinds of lovely colors, but they're quite long. So you could do a lot with that. You can double them or layer them like this. Now I don't wanna see how I just messed myself up here. Okay. This is what I meant to do. It's just not easy working at it, you know, with gravity pulling it all down and and trying to put it on here just right. But that's four strands of genuine rice pearls. They are 32 inches long, each of them, and there's four of them. So that's your necklace. Lots of choices with that. And then to go with that, I have these clip-ons that are absolutely perfect colors have all the same coloring as the necklace. They're in wonderful condition, and I love them. They're just great. Love, 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 so pretty. Then I also have these silver faux pearl earrings, danglies, and they have a cute little crystal on there that just picks up the colors again. What a nice match that becomes. So you've got some pierced earrings as well. Then I have this genuine pearl bracelet. It has silvery and all the same colors as well. It's a pretty good match. And I think this is a hematite bead on the front. Great, great stretch. It sits at a six and a half, but it is a stretch. And then last but not least, I have this gorgeous leaf um, scarf clip. It's very textured. It looks like one of those that they may have just covered a leaf but I'm not sure and it looks so fantastic it's kind of like a copper gold silver all those colors combined it just looks so pretty with the color of these pearls so if you wanted to wear it there you could if you wanted to wear it on the top part you could or any kind of way you could you know have these all together and pin them together or wear it as a scarf clip, but it just had such a color to it that I had to add it because it was gorgeous. So bag number five, rice is nice. I had it $58. And I will take this one down to why not keep it at 45 again? So from 58 down to 45. And I think most of the bags are taken down to 45, so that's fun. So there goes your genuine pearl bracelet, your vintage clip-ons, these really pretty um, pierced earrings, just the coolest scarf clip, the coloring to it, and your genuine rice pearls. So that's that one. I'm just going to do it this way now. Beautiful colors, really great jewelry. So lots of real pearls in that set. Bag five for 45. Okay, I'm gonna need a little more room up here. Let's see, that's better. Okay, so bag five, rice is nice. 
And bag number six is called Rice Twice is Even Better. So let's see what we've got here. Rice Twice is Even Better. If you didn't see the other video, what do you think it would be? Maybe you could put that in the comments. Wouldn't it be fun that when I do go live to be asking you guys in the comment section to let me know what you think the price is going to be or what you think the necklace is going to be. It'll be fun. Okay, this is also a vintage rice pearl necklace. This one is already attached together and it's got a sterling silver clasp on it and it is two strands of a pinkish, very pretty light pink and then your regular sort of pearl type rice pearls. So four strands again, and it's the same length, 32 inches of pearls. And again, you can layer it or decorate it any way that you'd like to, but I'll put it this way again. And I would like to say that all eight of these together are gorgeous as well. So if you buy both bags, you'll have all kinds of interchangeable matching to do very lovely. Okay, now on this set, I have a genuine rice pearl pair of earrings. They are on gold tone chains, pierced with some nice new backs. So I thought that was sweet, a nice little rice pearl. And then I have some gold tone bangles. Even though it's a silver clasp that's in the back, I think the gold tone really brought out a lot of the undertones of those pearls. So I have three bangles. They don't have any texture. They're nice and smooth, which I like with this set. They are eight inches. And then I have these gold tone earrings. They're also pierced, nice and swoopy looking. And they have those kind of backs on them. And these are kind of heavy. They're older quality. Oh, these are signed Avon. Okay, so these are Avon vintage earrings. Love that with that. And another scarf clip, why not? This one is a gold tone leaf, a much shinier gold tone. Looks very pretty on any part of that. Or again, just as a little extra piece. So bag number six, rice twice is even better. I had it at 51. And we'll take it down to 45. So there you go with bag number six, for 45. You've got your three bangles, two pairs of earrings, scarf clip, and four strands of genuine pearl on a sterling silver clasp in a more pink and white tone. They feel so cold and so lovely. So I hope you love that one. So in it goes, and in goes the number, so I remember all that information. Okay, bag number, what number have we got here? Bag number seven, so we're still in succession. It's called Best Brand Blue, and I had it at 39. This is such a nice Best Brand Vintage set. I'm gonna show you the bracelet first. It looks so real. It is sterling silver plated, and the plating is in wonderful condition, and underneath on every link it's signed best. They did a fantastic job imitating turquoise, or maybe it is, I don't know. It's probably glass, but it's nice and heavy, and it looks fantastic. I mean, look at that. So vintage best brand bracelet with a toggle clasp, and this is seven and a half inches. And then with that, I have the exact matching earrings that are also signed best and also sterling plated. And I know that because I did test the plating and they also shine up very easily with a silver cloth. So I polished them up a little bit. So exact matching earrings for that. And then I did find this necklace quite a while back and I had this on eBay. It's very, very similar. It's not a best, but it's very similar and I thought it looked terrific with that. It 
does have sort of the same round settings. And this, I believe, is Howlite or Magnesite. Really pretty silver tassel and a nice long chain. The necklace is 30 to 33 inches, fully extended. Let's see if I can get this on here. Yep, there we go. And to go with that, I have this cute little silver tone brooch. Has some swirly stuff going on and a cute little dot in the middle. So that's the brooch that goes with it. And I had this at 39. And I'm gonna take this one down to and do 32 on this one. So $32 for lovely best brand set. And honestly, I think this bracelet is worth it alone. It is gorgeous. So I hope you love that and that I put together a nice match. Let's see, we'll put in the earrings first and the bracelet, the little brooch and this necklace. Oops, it's caught. Let go, Buster. Let go. You can also clip this necklace in many different lengths and even double that if you wanted to. So if you like a long necklace, great. And if you don't, it looks awfully cute doubled up like this too. So there you go with that piece. Nice long tassel. So number seven, best brand blue is now at 32. Okay, now we're gonna skip over a number so don't think that I've skipped a number. This is, I'm doing the bags again for the second time. And bag number eight sold. So we're jumping to bag number nine. Okay, so bag number nine is called Pink and Blue. And I had it at $48. Now this necklace is so stunning. Really a pretty one. It is... Let's see what it's signed. Ann Taylor, I believe. Yes. So it's an Ann Taylor faux pearl, lovely dark blue crystals, clear crystals, and the glass pearls, super quality. And then look at this. It has these gorgeous glass pieces that look so much like, like real stone. Don't they look like lapis and rose quartz? But I did test them and they test as glass. And then these pieces are glass too. It's just so beautiful, really beautiful. And this can twist or not twist. I think it just is a little twisted right now. And the necklace measures, come on paper, 22 inches long. Yeah, that, that is the length of it. It seems like it might be longer. Let me just measure it one more time. So I want to be sure. Yeah, it's 24 inches long. So maybe I meant to write that it was 22 to 24 inches. So that's nice. It's got more length to it if you want. So 22 to 24 inches. And to go with this piece, I have a beautiful pair of pierced earrings, and they have some blue and some opalite glass, and just a really great match. I love those with it. So there's those, and a couple of bangles, gold tone, that are in great shape, and they're eight and a quarter on the bangles. So there's some gold, a little shimmer for your wrist. And then to go with the pearls, I have these very nice quality glass pearl studs. They're nice and heavy. They've got gold posts on them, gold tone posts, and some nice new backs. So there's your other alternate earring. And I had this Ann, Ann Taylor. I should write the name down. I just want to make sure I'm giving you the right name. No, it's a Talbot's. So sorry. So that is a Talbot's necklace. 
pink and blue Talbots, and I had it at 48. And I'm going to take this one to 45. So that's another bag that's 45. So you've got very nice matching earring hoops, some little studs, your pretty bangles in great shape, and this really gorgeous, so beautiful necklace. So that goes in the bag. It moves nicely, and of course, Talbot's quality is just speaks for itself. So bag number nine is for 45. Okay, if you're just joining me, let me remind you how to purchase. If you like one of the bags, just email me at capecodebaygirl at gmail.com and let me know the episode number, a brief description of the jewelry, the bag number, and the price. A brief description could also be the name of the bag, so either way, that's fine. But we don't need time stamps today, so that's kind of nice to have a break on that. So thank you for letting me share that information, and we will keep going. I thought I would slip in here in the middle of the video because this week I found this necklace, and I don't know what to make of it. So if any of you can help, I would really appreciate it. I do feel like the pieces test as Bakelite, but they're also an orangey color, so I'm going to have to do some more testing on that. But here it is. This is what it looks like overall, and it's pretty fantastic. There's a fish inside of that bead. There is some layered beads. It's just outstanding, and these sort of like cone beads, but the most interesting one of all, well, they're all interesting. I mean, look at this. These little cone beads again, and these layered beads is where'd it go right here look at how they have the cones inside of the cone isn't that beautiful so i don't know what it is i do want to think it's bakelite i would hope it would be but i want to show you there is a couple of signatures on this and it's just very interesting love to know who made this or what it might be i did a google search and, you know, with something with all these shapes on it, you get all kinds of responses from the Google search. Okay, here's the clasp. It does unbutton right here. And there's that little signature right there. And there's another one on the necklace as well, on one of these beads. Hope I can find it quickly. But there is another signature on here. Here it is, it's right on the bottom of this one. It looks like the same, the same thing, same signature. I can't get it too close because then it starts to darken. So let me see if I can do it this way, yeah. So that's this necklace. I'm just popping on here to ask you guys what you think of this because it's very cool and I really need some help trying to figure out what it is. Magnificent, right? So thank you so much for letting me pop in here and share this wild piece with you. And look, my little Talbot's tag fell off. That's why I kind of messed up on this. And I haven't seen these bags for two weeks either, so that's why it's kind of new information to me a little bit. I've handled a lot of jewelry in between the two weeks' time. Okay, the next bag is number 10. And it's called Austria's Charm, and I had it at 50. Now this is an incredible Austrian crystal necklace, and it's signed Austria, right there on the back. And it's an oldie, but it's beautiful, and it's got that cute little clasp. And it alternates between shiny faceted glass pieces to not shiny acrylic. So they're going for a muted versus shiny tone on the beads, but it's a beautiful, beautiful piece. It's all hand knotted in between and it's 42 inches long. So nice length on that. Put it on the buster and you can wear your clasp out front if you want to. 
So really great shape for its age. And then to go with that, I have these black faceted beaded and gold beaded earrings that are pierced and they are cold in the glass. And then I have this, look how adorable this bracelet is. It looks like someone took an old vintage necklace pendant and turned it into a bracelet. It's got little tiny glass crystals. It's on the stretch, but it's in great shape. Just so cute. Adorable, I love that. And then bracelet sits at six and a half, but it is a stretch. And then for your clip-ons, I have these black and gold round clip-ons. They're in super good condition. And you have your choice of wearing those as well. And keeping up with the scarf clip theme, I have this really pretty gold tone flower shape. There's the back. And I love this nice big gold circle in the middle. It kind of repeats all the little theme that we have going on with the other pieces. So you're welcome to clip it on the necklace and have it be a showstopper or wear it on the scarf or however you desire. So that is Austria's Charm. Had that one at 50. It is a very old necklace and it is signed Austria. So it's a nice piece. But let's take this price down to, we'll do 40 on this one. So bag number 10, Austria's Charm is now just 40. So in go your clip-ons, your pierced earrings with new backs, this adorable bracelet, scarf clip, and super long Austria crystal signed necklace, 42 inches. So that's that bag, and we're moving right along. Okay, now we're going to skip number 11. And we're going to bag number 12. So bag 12 was called is called Premier Does It Again. And I have this at 33. This is a showstopper Premier Designs necklace. I just want you to see the overall colors first. They're so pretty. It's like a soft teal green pearlescence. Um, just a beautiful coating on there. And look at the, the beads on the necklace. It's really a great one. Let's find the clasp. Here we go. So really gorgeous. I don't know if they did silver plating, but it sure looks like they did. And there's the, the little tag for Premier Designs. Nice oval link chain. Then it comes to this with the alternating beads. And look how the chain goes to the pendant, and then a new chain starts. I love that they didn't just weave it through. They really took time to make it quality. And then again, repeating that pattern down like that. So a nice long piece, which you can wear it as. I'm gonna flip it up this way, just so we can see it all together on the buster. But love those colors and the tones, it's so pretty. And to go with that, I have these really great hoop earrings. They have glass beads on them that are very iridescent, um, similar in all of the colors. Just love those. And then I have a pair of silver tone, nice little textured button style earrings, great condition. And I love those with it too. So you get another pair of earrings and then I have this bracelet that is faceted glass and some more glass beads on a cute little toggle. And the bracelet is six and three quarters. So there you go on that piece. And I love that with it. So that's your Premier Does It Again. I had it at 33. Mm, okay. But let's have some fun and take it down to $28. So bag number 12, Premier Does It Again, is now $28. And the necklace, by the way, is 36 to 40 inches long. 36 to 40. Okay. In go these nice quality 
pierced earrings. And these are great quality too. Nicely made, that's the back. A sweet little bracelet. And you can wear any silver tone bracelet as well. And just this super awesome Premier Designs necklace. So nice. So there's your bag number 12 down to $28. Okay. Now we are going to bag number 13. And this is called Go Big or Go Home. And I had it at 62. So I got to get this one ready. So bear with me just a little minute and I'll show you this all glass stunning necklace. So we have these very frosty, oh, can you hear the sound? It's just a soft glass, like a beach glass, almost glows from within. Beautiful turquoisey teal blue color necklace and it's quite long. And it comes down to this stunning pendant with some faceted. This is acrylic on the pendant, but the rest is all glass. And they did a great job matching the colors. So just a really beautiful piece. And let's see what it looks like doubled. So just doubled. It is still a good size. Let's see how long is the necklace. 46 inches in total. And there it is wrapped twice. Isn't that lovely? It feels great. Then I have this bracelet I thought looked wonderful with it. It has crystal beads, a little tight on the stretch, not too scary. Some black beads here and another faceted bead as the featured little pendant. It's all glass, sits at seven inches with the stretch. And I thought that was so pretty. Then I have these glass earrings. They are quite stunning. They are clear glass. I guess you'd call that um, givre glass because it is a colored glass wrapped by a clear. Just super cool. They've got some lighter color beads above and below. Silver tone wires. Love that with those. That's those, and I thought these were just too adorable to pass up. They are lever backs and just adorable little glass, little um, beads that are on the little pins. So super cute if you wanted to go with a little bit more solid color. And that is bag number 13 for 62. And that's a lot of glass beads. They're very, very beautiful. I'm going to take this one down to 62 to, I'll say 49 on this one. Okay, so bag 13, go big or go home, is now $49. So there go your glass, beautiful glass earrings, your other vintage with the lever backs, super beautiful bracelet, and this chunky, beautiful necklace that you could wear long. You could even wear it wrapped three times. I'm going to show you what that would look like. It's pretty easy to maneuver. It doesn't feel like it's going to give any minute. It's very strong, but look at that. Isn't that just so stunning? What a beautiful spring and summer necklace, and I think for any time around the year. It's a good one. So in goes that one, and that is bag number 13, go big or go home, now marked down to 49. So I hope you loved all of that, and I have one more thing to share with you, and that Mother's Day is just around the corner, and I've had this set for a while, can't remember which unboxing I found it in. But it says, family is everything. It says, mom on this pendant. Um, it says it's an 18 inch necklace. And this little pendant opens up right here and you can put any one of these crystals on it that you want to. And they all have 
It's just kind of a little bit tight. They all have a month next to them. So January all the way to December. Really pretty, right? Doesn't say anything about it being sterling. So it's silver tone, but it is a whole set. And I thought it was awfully cute. And you can't beat the little bezel set stones. They're just adorable. So whoever would like that, it is in gift condition. It's in really nice condition. And I'll say 15 on this set. So just let me know that you want the mother's necklace with the crystals and I'll know what you're talking about, okay? So that's it for me today. I would love to do a craft jar. So much I want to do them. I have craft bags and craft cups, but I do have to run this time. So one last time I'll remind you about of my email, capecodebaygirl at gmail.com. And if you like any of the bags, just email me at any time during the video with the episode number, the description, the bag number, and the price, okay? So now I'm going to take a lot of these out of the bag and make a very pretty thumbnail. So you'll want to click on my video and remind you one last time. I hope you'll subscribe to my channel. And if you like the video, if you like it, give it a like on the way out, a little thumbs up. I'd appreciate that so much. You know what I'm going to say next. Come on, say it with me. We'll see you next time at the Bobbles. Bye, everyone.